Alright, let's say we end this once and for all. Go find the source of all this speculation and drama, this Kariffy Tits person. Now, um, you know, what makes me think this is going to be an ambush? No, it couldn't possibly be an ambush, could it? This is a uh, really, really interesting codec here, by the way. Alright, um, records say that Corypheus has been trapped here uh, in Vimark since the day of the Taventer Imperium, uh, possibly before that, right? And it's no coincidence that the Darkspawn besieged this area more fiercely than anywhere else on the surface of Thetis, right? Or that Kirkwall, the closest city, suffers from endless plagues of violence, lunacy, blood magic, human sacrifice, etc., etc. Right? No coincidence at all. Um, that Kirkwall was built in proximity may have a lot to do with that. Anyway, one tends to wonder. And uh, also the, uh, the Dwarven Taig type buildings that are uh, that are found all in and around and under Kirkwall and stuff. Very interesting. Looking back on it, I've taken note of that, that what they, you know, consider um, what they call the deep roads here, you know, the same art style, the same design, the same architecture, is found um, underneath Dark Town, is found up around Sundermount in the caves that lead to the ruins and stuff like that. Um, and those are those are dwarven construct of some form or fashion. Man, we got one of those bulldozer dudes. Well, that's interesting. Okay, things might go bad quickly. This dude just isn't going to die, is he? Oh, man. And he took out Bethany. Well, that's, that doesn't bode well for the rest of us, does it? Unless he's glitched. Either he's glitched or he's holding his guard. I guess he's just holding his guard. Okay, that's smart. What does he have? Like, was, is that a grappling chain move? Oh, uh, uh, wow. All right. Got us cornered. All right, it's tank versus tank here. I won't suffer you guys to this entire fight here because she's not doing hardly any damage. She's tanking it up, though. Yeah, that was that was about five minutes that I cut out right there. <laughs> it really was. This is uh, it's a long time in going. She even had to slug down a health potion during the course of that. She's doing her thing. She may only be hitting him for like, you know, 20s and 30s and stuff, but uh, she handled up like a champ. And apparently there's still some more ads around here somewhere, but uh, yeah, anyway, nice to see Aveline doing her thing. Looks like we've got a horde of them. Okay, well, if this big old dude couldn't take us down though with his bulldozer ass, then uh, I don't think the rest of these guys are going to be able to do anything either. I think we pretty much cleared this stuff out down here. We're gonna have to come back and uh, loot all these guys, though. All right, so let's let's just go finish these guys off. Hopefully, no more I don't know arcane horrors or any crap like that pops up. Yeah, you're not gonna do much to her with melee. You're really not. Uh, she's she's gonna tank that up like like a champ. She really is. I mean, one just has to wonder, especially during times of a blight, right? It's just how far Corypheus, well, influence could spread. Is that uh, what if the like arch demons? Okay, we see an in Inquisition that Corypheus has a dragon serving him, although the dragon's more there as um, like like a servant or a, or a slave or something, kind of uh, not really a pet, but uh, I don't know, it has something to do with as long as the dragon is alive, then Corypheus can't be slain. The power that he either uses or draws from or whatever is, is similar, if not identical, to that of an, of an archdemon. In that, um, essentially, if not killed by a warden, then can't be killed at all. You just pass on to the next dead corpse and raise back up and take your shape again. So on and so forth. Apparently, Flemeth has a skill something like that. Uh... Maybe Solus can pass along and receive power like that. That I don't, I don't know. There's some hint of that at the end of Inquisition. So I'm thinking this is a common trait um, between the uh, ancients or old gods or pantheon or whatever you want to call it. Um, and that Corypheus is just a corrupt version of that. Although I don't know how uh, uncorrupted Solus might claim to be himself. But I mean, he's certainly not coming out with metal barbs coming out of his face, you know, trying to destroy the world. At least not directly. Maybe indirectly with his little orb thingy, but 
you know, not directly. I don't see him starting blights as far as that goes. Um, I think honestly, it may come boil down to it, when it comes down to you know Dragon Age lore and their whole religion or spirituality is that perhaps um, the quote unquote old gods aren't gods at all. They're just the first children or the original people from which everyone else stemmed from. You know, broken off in chunks and pieces to become humans and elves as we know them today and, and dwarves, although there's evidence that the dwarves were um, back there first. Uh, maybe the dwarves were the first children of the children of the Maker, so I don't know. Uh, it's, you know, But I see the dwarves and the ancient pre tevinter Tevinters, you know, whatever you want to call them back then, the old elves, the old, uh, the ancients, whatever you want to call them, um, being closely related there because their buildings coincide here. Notice there's no, it's not it's not just a coincidence that there's a uh, uh, an altar to Demont right there in a taig, a dwarven taig that has no carvings of paragons. Kind of got into that on on the last one a little bit, you know. When I when I noticed that, I'm like, you know, there's something very relevant here. This is bigger than just you know simple animations in the background to fill space. There's a uh, there's a message being passed along here. Okay, so to so to create these seals or to bind these seals, blood magic had to be performed, and apparently our father is responsible for this, right? Un under force, okay. He was being uh, strong armed to do this, but uh, be that as it may, um, I see that it's. Uh, I wonder what kind of people or what people were bound or sacrificed to bind demons of this kind of power to create these seals. Notice these are consecutively more and more powerful pride demons that we keep running across every time we break one of these sa seals to undo this blood magic. Just, just, just a thought here is uh, perhaps other warden mages, quote unquote, laying down their life, you know, in death sacrifice and misquoting their whole dogma to uh, um, justify whatever particular uh, thing that they happen to be doing at the time. I'm assuming this this big glowing guy over here is the main guy. No, it's not. Oh, exactly. How many replicas of himself does he spawn? can't really tell if it's the main guy until you hit him a few times, but uh, the rest of those looks like they have pretty much a false health pool. They're not all uber boss pride demons, they just look like it. And uh, I guess once you've done so much damage to him, he just gets to disappear. It's funny as all of his replicas, though, take on the same health pool he's got. And, uh, maybe I got the real... no, that's not him either. Hmm. Really not sure which one he is, honestly. I'm glad all demons don't have this annoying trait right here. That's not him either. Alright, well. Wow. Well, I guess each round he gets an extra replica of himself. Well, I'm glad we're just not scattered all over the place because uh, my team would be getting owned here. Right, let's see if we can finish him off here. There we go. I think that's him. Good deal. More XP. Lots of XP here. This would be uh, worthwhile coming down here um, in Act 1. Honestly. Just for, for leveling purposes. Oh, nice. Achievement. There we go. I guess for fully upgrading the dagger. Or weapon. Uh, you know, depending on your class, it's going to be a different thing. Like, if you're a mage, it'll be a staff. If you're an archer, it'll be a bow, that type of thing. And you know, I guess if you were playing a rogue, you could, uh, you know, considering the fact that you can respec, if you wanted a really good bow for, say, a follower like Sebastian, um, I, I believe you could wait till much later in the game to come down here and do this, carry a bow with you. He feels the seals weaken. Give it to Sebastian he later. Knows you are close. It's a thought. You must be ready. What's that? Who? No! No! They're here! Who is they? The Carter? No. Worse. More treacherous. More dangerous. The Wardens! 
They listen to Corypheus. They want to bring him the light. Stop them. You must stop them. Take heed to this, because this dude actually does know what he's talking about, which we find out later in Inquisition. Something's we couldn't have known that the at the time, but down. looking back, we do. Stood up to tunneling before. What can... <gasps> you. You have the key. And you've come through the seals. But how? Can you be Hawk, the child of Malcolm? The Carters said they were close. You must be her. I am Janica. I lead this unit of Grey Wardens. Why are the Wardens so interested in my father? Then you don't know. Without Malcolm, this prison would have fallen 30 years ago. Let me guess. It had something to do with this fancy thing? The Grey Wardens built this prison to contain one of the most powerful Darkspawn we've ever encountered. But even the best magic fades. The Wardens need to reinforce the seals. This requires the blood of a mage untainted by Warden training. The last to perform the ritual was your father. My father was a blood mage. To avert the blights, forbidden magics are sometimes necessary. That's an argument we have to guard against. My father knew that. He did not bind the demons, if that is your concern. That was done in another era, before the Chantry's laws. Why do my family stories never involve embarrassing vacations in Antiva? We need your help, Hawk. I have done extensive research on this Darkspawn, and I believe the original Wardens were wrong. He isn't a threat to humanity. He's our greatest opportunity. A darkspawn who can talk, feel, reason. What a tool. Corypheus cares nothing for blights. He used you. The warden commander. Don't listen to this creature. He's half darkspawn himself. I know how to harness Corypheus. Use his magic to end the blights. No. The wardens knew. Corypheus is too powerful. Father would have considered this, done the research. Trust that he was right. Worth the risk. If he doesn't help, it's one more big dart spawn to stick a bolt in. No big deal. If the Wardens locked this creature up, they did it for a reason. Corypheus calls her, and she listens. She brought him the Carter, sent them for you. I believe that. You must help us. No, you're a tool. You're obviously Why a tool. Why would this Darkspawn want to end the Blights? He's no mindless monster. This search for the old gods comes at a terrible cost to his people. He tricked you. These are not your thoughts. They are his calling. The false calling. How many of them died in Ferelden alone? And that was the least of the Blights. How could you trust any deal this Darkspawn makes with you? Do not think me foolish, Hawk. I'm making no deal. I have a spell which can control Corypheus. Bind him to my will. More blood magic. He will be a new important weapon in the war on the Blights. No more, no less. You're too stupid to be allowed to live. Corypheus may be as great a threat as the next Blight. We can't risk freeing him. We'll find a way to do this with or without you, Hawk. This prison will be broken. The Blights will end. Come. Okay, so what we see in Inquisition, we see happening here, and she's already a powerful blood mage. With me, we will beat Notice she glows seat. just like friggin' Justice and anybody else that's demon-possessed, so she's, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, it's always a mage. It's, uh, sorry, it's always a mage. No, I'm not, I'm not sorry, actually, no. You know, and if, if that's offensive, we'll just get over it because you're wrong and I'm right, is that, no, it, it is always a mage. Now, I'm not going to justify Templar's actions, okay? But I'm not going to completely misunderstand all of their reactions. Sometimes it's just a reaction. Sometimes you just get fed up with shit. Just seeing people die for no reason at the hands of people who are never held accountable. Sorry, man. Some point. Some point they have to corner themselves, just like they did in Red Cliff, and, and pay their dues. What they got coming. Not every individual collectively, but many of them individually. Dragging the rest of those with them collectively, and it's it's a shame. It's just pathetic. Just totally obsessed, and she's on the self. I'm I'm a god. I know more than the wardens ever did before me. 
Um, nobody understood. I'm the only one that truly understands. You know, follow me or die. That's what she's doing. It's just, just the same old story. The old defenses are active again. Very unpredictable. Very dangerous. There. That's the one Janica wants dead. You do Janica's bidding. Janica shared knowledge of Corypheus with the Carta. When she releases the Master, we will be rewarded. How many of you are there? I thought I'd dealt with you already. We may die here, but we will take you with us. No! Don't! Okay, now this guy's eyes? Um, he's not... He's not corrupted. The these these guys are willing tools, okay? These guys are in control of their faculties. This little group right here, this may be the the special group. But what what our uh what our warden buddy who's been guiding us through this place so far, what he said was absolutely true. Is it is Janik who sent the carta and this guy just admitted that. Of course, he expects us to die here with him or die at his hand or whatever. I guess he's willing to trap himself here for all eternity as long as it could get us killed and that's fanaticism at its finest. So there you have it. But yeah, he's definitely working with Janica, so, um... There we go, and we see that she's a complete liar. Carter fools always where they don't belong. This shouldn't have happened. Don't worry, we'll find a way out. Yes. Yes. Think. There must be a way. I was here once before. A long time ago. Yeah. The magic... The magic... Flows in streams. They must be joined for the way to open. Yes. Yes, that's it. Alright, well, well, there you have it. Now we know. <laughs> this is what we need to do. Alright, this is uh, similar to the puzzle in the DLC and Origins. Where you have Kitty is being held bound um, in the basement in Honleith. It's when you go to get Shale. During uh, whatever the name of that DLC is. Anyway, the one the one where you get uh, where you get Shale as a follower. All right. Kitty is, is being held by a contraption like this, but in that case, it's blocks that you move that all point in the, in the direction, but the principle is the same. And when the uh, when the beam reaches. Um, you know, from one end to the next, then it, it breaks the seal or opens the the spiritual lock or whatever. And there you have it. Okay, so it's almost almost an identical puzzle. Now I'm gonna go back. Now that first power node that I hit when I first got in here, um, apparently you have to find all of these. Interesting. It's talked about stopping to examine the carvings here too. Not, not of dwar dwarven origin per se. Very strange. I think there's, oh man, you know, I, I think I'm seeing some cool stuff here, but I don't think I'm even touching the tip of the iceberg. What could actually be found right here? Just looking around, but but paying attention to the details here and what is and what, according to history, shouldn't be, but still is. And the things that are linked and connected here that normally wouldn't be associated, um, I think has a lot of relevance. Anyway, I want, I want to make sure I go all the way back to the very beginning and um, find any of these power nodes. Um, admittedly, I either didn't find them all or I found them in the wrong order. Because it seemed like uh, oh, at least one or two of them glowed a different color. I don't know if it's supposed to or not. And maybe you, maybe you have to hit them in a precise order. But I believe it unlocks the ward on a particular door that leads to, uh, like, a helmet or a piece of loot. And I think I missed that. I hope it wasn't anything really significant lore-wise. I guess we'll see. Someday on down the line if I miss something. Okay, we got more of these Carta guys. Oh, yes, these are... Uh... Yeah, no master snipers around here. We'll holler at you, buddy. Worry about the rest of these guys in a second, but he goes down first. Love the sound this dagger makes when 
slam somebody with it. Okay. Oh, I just got this guy out already. He needs to go. Hopefully there's no more of these sneaky sneaks stealthing around here. Wouldn't be surprised. This is uh, kind of like a maze right here, too. There's a lot of side rooms, but uh, there's some useful information to be found around here also. Yeah, there's a uh, one passageway in particular that uh, I guess just leads to the last side room and uh, some kind of loot. I couldn't find it. Locks within locks. The warden set a trap for Corypheus, then bound him here. Um, not sure what the trap might have been. Words within words, lock with, locks within locks, spells woven with the help of a powerful effect they call the key. And this is something that apparently our father put in place. And then this, this helm of Weishaupt. Uh, some warden commander, Estor. Um, and one of the seals was tampered with, and uh, apparently a ward went up, and we need to break these power nodes, probably in a certain order, and I don't think I, I did it. Yeah, it's something about following... Um, the instructions to the letter or else it doesn't go right like this power note here see it's blue but I think I, I unlock one and it turns like red or something and I think that messes it up I don't know maybe there's a certain order I could go Google it I guess but uh, I didn't I was trying to you know do this in the blind on my own and uh, I think I messed it up because I, I never did get this seal undone we'll see the seal here in a minute In fact, I, I even edit out a little bit of uh, backtracking that I've done. You'll see me backtrack here and there. Like I say, missing some stuff too. So it's you know it's good that I went back to look. But uh, now either either wasn't to be found or I screwed up. Um, most likely I screwed up. That's what I think happened. It's kind of curious if uh, maybe I missed a node like off to the side over here or on the back side. Once you get through the puzzle, you know something like one of those little. Lanterns right there or something? I don't know. Yeah, it's just, you know, just didn't see it. At some point you just go, oh well, I either screwed up or I'm just not going to find it. I could, you know, waste my day on it, but, uh, not get anywhere with it. Okay, now I was looking at, uh, some daggers, and it's apparently some of the daggers have a, you know, 40 plus dexterity requirement on them. So I'm assuming, you know, once you get your dexterity in the 40s, you get your attack up into the 100% range. Right now it's it's at high 70s, which is like essentially your your chance to land a full impact hit rather than a glancing blow. Rather than your ability to hit period, it's more like your ability to hit, uh, you know, a uh, full force hit. Okay, now what I need, I need to get these passives. The key to the shadow tree in this build are the passives, but in order to unlock them, I have to take these trash points. And it, it's it's kind of expensive. Uh, it's it's two basically dead levels where you gain no advantage by picking those trash points. But uh, the next level after this, 21, 22, 23, and so on, um, this build starts getting really, really, really stout. Um, I think it's pretty potent as it is. I think I'm doing just fine, personally. But um, it starts to get a little better because just about everything's a critical. Uh, you basically get to that point. There are... Uh, a few more passives and some other stuff and other trees, but my active skills are pretty much set. Everything from this point forth is window dressing. I believe there's at least one or two more tomes to get for a free ability point in Act 3. I believe at least one. I think it's Black Emporium. I, I don't know. Maybe the Elven Merchant on Sunder Mounters. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Um, And then there's a potion you can make at the end of the game once you've collected all the crafting materials. I think you literally need every single kind of crafting material in the game as a requirement to make this potion. And, you know, of course, it's, you know, by design. And you'll, of course, get the trophy for getting all the stuff, and then you can make yourself uh, basically a free level. And it's good to use at the very end when you're about to go at the end of Act 3 and finish the game. Use it then because XP is so hard to come by that odds are you're not... I mean, unless you're on the brink of leveling... You don't want to use that potion if you only need like a thousand XP to level. Go find a thousand XP somewhere and then level and then drink your potion and level again. Because it's a free level regardless of what your XP is. Uh, for, to the best of my understanding. I don't think there's a limit on the amount of XP it can give you. Like, well, I, you know, unless you use an exploit, you can't get to level 49, say. But, you know, the, the hard cap is actually 50. That is the blind hard cap in the game, which um, there used to be a cheat where you could do that. Um and I, I admit it, it was kind of fun to do that because you would go level up and you'd literally have most of your skills open to you 
but you'd get out and the first enemy you face literally has a health bar that stretches across the entire screen. It was it was funny. And I mean they had so many hit points, but you were doing ridiculous damage. It, it was fun. It wasn't exactly god mode, but uh I think the balance of the game was a little thrown off by that point. So that there were times where you might even go up against, you know, like uh you know, an elite lieutenant assassin, right? Um, that essentially should do, be able to do a million damage and whatever, but you've got so many attribute points, you know. I mean, you're, you're just chunking. You're a rogue, and you're still chunking 30 points into Constitution because you've got all this other It was pretty funny. Or, you know, you've got your cunning in, you know, the 150 range or something. Your critical damage bonus is, I don't know, like 300%. I, just ridiculous stuff, right? But, I, you know, it's it, for funds, but um, in all seriousness, uh, when you get up uh, around, you know, mid-20s or so... Um, you uh you still need quite a bit of of XP. I think when you get into the oh it's the forties, oh my gosh! Even with the exploit, you needed oh man, hundreds of thousands of XP to level or something. It was something ridiculous. But yeah, in your mid twenties, like say if, once you hit twenty four and you're close to the end of the game, you're not. You're, I doubt you're gonna hit twenty five. You'd need to do a lot of stuff to do that because the yeah, there's just not enough enough XP to be found. Um. There's no real place to farm or grind in this game. It's, you know, it's pretty much a a hard limited cap set on stuff, you know. Um you know, you can miss a trap here, miss a lock chest there, um you know, miss a few mobs here and there, and next thing you know, you've lost the level in the game. It's just it's just that cut and dry. Let's see. I was wrong. We cannot control the creature Corypheus. Even our most powerful mages hold no influence with them. All right, so this lady is a complete liar. This is the this is the rewards you get for looking around and being thorough. Darkspawn have have attacked as well. Seeing him, I can only assume they are summoned the same way. Okay, the darkspawn are summoned in the same way as the false calling. In other words, Corypheus works through the taint. Um, see how that's red? I did them out of order. Um, I think that was supposed to be the last power nexus. See how that glowed differently? I, I, I think that's, that's the point where I screwed it up. I did a lot of searching after this, trying to find the last one. I think I found where the last one is supposed to be. It's sitting on the wall. It looks just like that, but it, it doesn't have any prompt to to uh, interact with it. So without going and actually Googling it and see what I did wrong, uh, I'm assuming that I just did them out of order. I was probably supposed to do that one last, and uh, I don't know if I can find it again. I'll show you which one I thought might have been You know, the next one I was supposed to activate. I can't really tell. See, like these ones that are smoking, those are those aren't the ones you can interact with. This is the ward that I think is supposed to break and leads to that helmet. Probably a boss fight too, so I'm probably leaving some XP on the table also. Which is a shame. Maybe that font right there on the wall, maybe. But uh there's another little side room. Was it in here? Nope, there's one. No, see, that glows. But that's, that's still, that's not the last one. I mean, obviously it's not the last one, because that ward, I, th I, I think it was, and, or I thought it was, and so I went back to look, and, and it, the steel was still there. So I can only assume that one that didn't glow with a little orb on top of it, I had done it out of order. That's that's my guess. Anyway, yeah, there's no way to get through this. I'm like, oh, really? Because I thought I just got it there. And I'm like, okay, well, there's one more somewhere, right? And then, anyway, we'll I'll, I'll show you where I thought it might have been. And it just, well, obviously couldn't interact with it, and that was that. Okay, nothing else in here, surprisingly enough. And I'm only assuming there's going to be another ambush. Of course, I'm looking around wild, yeah, with the save right there. You know something's going down in the next room, right? It just almost has to be. But this is probably where the last power node would be too, right? That's what I'm thinking. Did you really think those old wards would stop me? Look at you. Barely able to string two thoughts together. You've only made it this far because of Hawk. You can still turn away. Do not listen to his voice. You're a fool, Arias. And you should have died here years ago. And that's the best that the wardens have to offer right there. And look what she does. Look at the demon she's summoning here. It's amazing how she can summon a revenant too, which would essentially be the guardian of an old magister, right? One of the old gods, even. Whatever. 
ancient mage phylacteries and so on and so forth. Well, I got one of them down. Nice. Okay, apparently all of these arcanes are not only arcane bosses in and of themselves, but they're buffing this revenant too. I'm assuming that's what's going on here. And of course they can warp all over the place. And be annoying. Right? And I think I'll just deal with these guys while my uh, followers keep Mr. Revenant face busy. I hope Abilene can tank this guy. Okay, well, standing in here and just trying to go toe to toe with this dude isn't gonna isn't gonna do anything. I'm glad they're not doing a bunch of AOE stuff around the Revenant, or we'd be screwed. I mean, it looks like they've already got him shielded and buffed and whatever, probably healing, for all I know. Okay, that's two down. I don't know how many more we got. Looks like these guys are floating around in every corner. Jerks. Yeah, they are, as a matter of fact. Oh, got him down. It's three. Is there a fourth? Yes, there is. Wow, okay. Come on, pop back up. Coward. Oh, I guess you have to do some damage for them to reappear or something. There we go. Yeah. Okay, where's your help now, buddy? Uh, he's he's got an aura of death around him or something. Oh no, it's this really. Okay, is he debuffed now? He's debuffed. All right, so he had a ward of, I don't know, some kind of spirit attacks of like, I don't know, sucking our life and healing himself with it. For all I know. Yeah, bitch, I hit hard too. Look at all that tasty XP. I wonder if you get that much XP at lower levels. Oh my god, you'd level from like 17 through... or Oh, man, imagine if you were down like around 7, 8, 9. I don't know if I would recommend coming down here on Nightmare at that level. I don't think you'd have a whole lot to work with. Of course, the enemies wouldn't be quite as hard. But if they're giving you thousands at a time... Oh man, you'd go from like 8 to, shit, 14 or something ridiculous like that. Maybe maybe not quite that much, but still. Okay, so I'm, I'm thinking, is there another power node around here? Um... Almost have to be, right? I mean, if there's one more, if that seal wasn't broken, then... Somewhere, but, uh... Yeah, just not seeing anything. But that's the exit, right? Okay, so... If it's not out the door, then it just must not exist. Is what I'm thinking. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I... Anyway, I, I did go and do some backtracking, and uh, yeah, didn't uh, didn't see anything. So now we're back outside, and we're back above ground. Apparently, that that last little area right there uh, led all the way back up, and so we're back up top in that tower we saw when we first got here, right from across the way. Oh, that's nice. What's so nice about it? I was just wondering what some place sinister and foreboding would look like, and here it is. Hopefully we get to take these Wardens out. Of course, it's not going to help stopping them from spreading the corruption to the rest of the Wardens. Apparently, all the mages are susceptible. Of course. And then, of course, the rest of the Warden soldiers are just going to be willing tools, doing whatever the mages say, of course, because the mages have gained control of the Order. And when that happens, guess what happens? Uh, there's been no exceptions in history, so I'm just going by the rule that we've been given so far, you know, going back thousands of years. Same thing every time. Yeah, put the mages in control and this. I understand because of their magic they're twice susceptible to demonic influence and demonic possession or whatever but well that doesn't make the dead people that shouldn't die but do die at their hand alive again it just doesn't. I'm gonna start working on his specialist tree. Normally, I would have done that earlier. I've just been—I honestly been playing around with these builds just a little bit too. All kind of ending up in the same spot, but doing different things along the way, just to mix it up a little bit. Hasn't always worked out real well though, especially with Aveline. She was not very tanky for a while there, and uh, yeah, epic fails. 
But You're too late, Le we're here, so it's all good. Hand over Hawk, and I'll give you a quick death. Hawk has made her choice. The right one. The right choice or the only choice? Malcolm Hawk was not allowed to disagree. It is the past. It doesn't matter. Larias, what does Janica mean by not allowed? How does she know this? Alec, did you tell her? Of course he did. He's a tool. Was reluctant. Had to be persuaded. I was Warden Commander. It was my duty. Under Janica's I orders, probably. An ultimatum. Help us, or you'll never see her again. You threatened father. You were going to kill our mother. No, never. He came with us. I never had to decide her fate. She was never told about what passed between Malcolm and me. That doesn't make it better. You see, Hawk, how can you trust anything, Lorias? No, no, no. Said. It doesn't make it better, but it doesn't make her right. And it doesn't make him wrong. Lorias's threats were reprehensible. But he's still right about Corypheus. That's the Hawk I know. Come willingly or not, Hawk. I just need your blood. No, I need yours, bitch. We destroy this mage. Can't keep up that shield forever, bitch. Garbage. Trash can. Sisters, slay him now before he wakes. Before his strength comes. The key. It's not strong enough. Use your blood. Free him and slay him. Right, so what we've witnessed here is, is the actual point in time. Uh, at least in general, uh, when the wardens cease to be wardens anymore. Uh, I know we, we become emotionally attached to the wardens by name, right, from Origins, because we were a warden, you know? But uh, what the orders become here, and what Corypheus has allowed them, uh, or made them, you know, working through the mages and turning the rest of them corrupt or into just basically mind-bent fools, tools to be used by the mages in their order, it's... it's uh, no excuse. No excuse. Mind control is one thing, but at some point their conscience never got involved, and even the uh, uh, the rest of the wardens that weren't mages never once said, "Hey, maybe this isn't the right thing to do." You know, binding demons, starting our own blight to quote unquote. And I mean, it's in, it's insanity. And so, uh, yeah, they don't have an excuse. And even if it isn't a legitimate excuse, let's say they all literally were brainwashed. If they're willing tools like that, that means they're open vessels for any kind of evil, forever, from this point forth. They're still useless as an order. Sorry. Just is the way it is. As much as I love the Wardens from Origins, uh, what they've become here is uh, nothing but an extension of Corypheus' perverted-ass will. And other entities like him. Now is that a dwarven rune? Tight rune. Maybe empowered by Malcolm Hawk, but is that a dwarven construct of sorts? This thing we're standing on. Just just curious. Be this some dream I wake from? Am I in dwarven lands? Why see their roads so empty? You serve you at the Temple of Dumart? Bring me hence. I must speak with the first acolyte. Mm. He speaks of the old gods, the Imperium. 
You are no man. Do you belong to the Empire? Or be you of dwarven blood? How come you here? Okay, so that's the only distinction. Whoever you be, you owe fealty to any Magister of Tevinter. On your knees. All of you. You're a dark spawn. Dark spawn. Ravaging the deep roads. Spreading the blight. Does this ring a bell? <laughs> you are what held me. I smell the blood in you. You mad? Lord, tell me, what waking dream is this? The light. We sought the golden light. You offered the power of the gods themselves. But it was black, corrupt, as darkness since how long the golden city the first violation the magisters who brought the blight he tainted the world he speaks to all who carry the corruption darkspawn warns he brought Janica here brought you if he's been calling the Wardens to free him, what's his plan? He seems confused. He slept. While the seals held, he could not wake. He knows nothing of time that passed. We must kill him now, before he comes to. First he went after the Maker in his house, then me in mine. I'm honored. <laughs> the city! It was supposed to be golden. It was supposed to be ours. If I cannot leave with you, I will leave through you. I seek the light. And what he means by that is if he can kill us, then he will, uh, he will, in a sense, possess our bodies, right? Just like maybe, if, you know, Mithal, Flemeth, you know. Perhaps, maybe even someone like Solus can do or something. Anyway, that's just the impression I get. Alright, so uh, at some point you have to activate these wards around here. Um, anyway, notice he only acknowledged himself, the Magisters, which he's not human, okay? But he didn't, uh, he didn't acknowledge anything but himself or dwarfs. He didn't make no make no mention of elves probably being one of the original elves pre elves elves type of thing look at this flamethrower shooting out of his hands so that's that's an awesome trick okay i guess okay uh, we activate all four as we go okay and they've got guardians too that's gonna be interesting Uh, well, I, I think I did this, what, once on Xbox years ago. Anyway, um, and he doesn't acknowledge human. We're human standing before him. He doesn't acknowledge us. He's like, what, you're not of the Imperium and you're not a dwarf. Then what are you? You know, so humans are uh, something later. I'm assuming Canari are the youngest of all the races, right? Possibly some kind of an abomination, an experiment got wrong, gone wrong or something. Or maybe not gone wrong at all. Maybe some perverted attempt to recreate um, a powerful race or return things to the way they were through some alchemical something or another. You know, if, if the old gods were supposed to be dragons or able to become dragons or something like that, then why not turn some elves into dragons and then you come up with the canary or, or something like that? Who knows? Who knows exactly? I mean, I guess they'll reveal that. One of these days, right? Okay. Well, at least the whole floor isn't completely covered in damaging stuff. Well, apparently, Bear got caught in that crap. I 
can see that one just handling up like a tank. damage to him. We should hit him hard enough and now his attention's on me, right? Wow. Dude's got a nice range of spells, doesn't he? Right, let's go ahead and get Dog back in the picture. Okay, just keep his attention over there, Evelyn. Do your thing. And we'll do ours. I'm glad I got my defenses set up from having done the, uh, the gauntlet in the Zebenkek thing. Okay, I think we need to get off the floor. I think like I really need to get off this floor. Oh wow. Alright, so we deactivate each pillar in order and each time it spawns guardians too. Wow, this is a this is a kind of a uh, an involved boss fight here. Lots of different uh, elements to this. Pretty cool, actually. Uh, it's me and Aveline. Alright, well, this, this may turn out to be an epic, epic fail do here. Something, Hulk. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, I'll do something. Not sure what, but something. Okay, I guess getting too close to these bricks will probably hurt me or something. Or they're just... Too, uh disrupting me getting from one, each pillar to the next, probably. I don't know. And so when he refers to the Perium, we're not talking about the Deventer Imperium like we see it today. We're talking about the pre Deventer Imperium back in the old days. Which I'm sure, just like everyone else whose history has essentially been lost, ancient human history, we can't even go back to our beginnings. And then, uh, you know, the dwarves and whatever they're doing, I mean, we've seen from the Tigs that they haven't always been about, you know, the stone and the ancestors and the paragons and blah, blah, blah. There was other stuff going on there. I sure wish I had elemental weapons for Bethany right now. That would be nice. Speed things up a bit. Oh, well. So I think I think the the Tevinters as they are today don't know really anything more about their beginnings. Essentially, they've turned into politically infighting blood mages. Not too different than the Orlesians, really, per se. Each has their own version of culture, but it all really boils down to the same thing: assholes being assholes. And when left unchecked, then I think it's, you know, if you can't beat them, join them type of thing, then just everyone becomes that. I deny you. Oh, wow, the, the fire just reaches you regardless. I guess it's not just quite as bad out here or something. Like I said, I'm glad we have protection in place still. Some decent fire resistance and things. When we uh, get back to town, we need to go ahead and throw some lightning resistance on. We're, uh, we've got one or two more... Oh, I think we got one more main quest to do. I think we'll be dealing with some more demons, by the way, so I, I won't change them too quick. But uh, at some point, I need to switch out a lot of the stuff for lightning resistance and maybe even some physical resistance. Just a little. We'll get to the end of Act 2 and then uh, go on to the uh, last part of the game. I don't remember Act 3 being as long as the first two. Although it's it's going to lengthen a little bit because we'll do Mark of the Assassins, so um, that'll take up a little extra time. And that that I'll be doing completely blind. I've never played any part of that. That was, uh, if I remember, after when Dragon Age 2 came out, I believe that was the last main DLC to come out. I believe it was the very last. And by then, I I had really played this into the ground. And if I did play again, it really wasn't with DLC. It was just just to play, you know. So anyway, I'll be totally fresh, and that will be completely blind.
Yeah, I don't think we've seen the last of the old flamethrowers out of the hands BS either. No, we haven't. If I could turn this off while he's absorbing his power. Apparently not. Nope, we gotta wait for him to get charged up, huh? Well, that's not fair. Oh, now he's really gone berserk. Oh, he's got lightning and fire and... Holy crap! Coming down out of the ceiling. And these are higher level shades, too. Jeez. They're not playing any silly games, are they? Alright, well, take that. Notice Aveline's just a little bit more effective now that I've turned off some of her stains and tweaked her, uh, her tactics a little bit. Yeah, that was probably wasn't a good idea. Just had to test it one time, see if it was instant death. Of course, then I've been stuck trying to finish off Griffius with Aveline. Griffius is cussing us out from his center up there while he's shooting lightning bolts out of his out of his butt and flames out of his hands and ice from the ceiling and fire from the ground and you name it. That's pretty cool. That's like the ultimate elemental mage. Well, if you could set up a little thing like this in each area with your mages, not boss fights wouldn't be about shit, would they? <laughs> that old flamethrower trick looks pretty useful. Okay, so we got to dodge this. Literally, it's a minefield now, isn't it? Okay, well, that, yeah, I don't think I want to get hit on top of the head with one of those. With elemental weapons active, we'd be carving through this a little quicker. Sorry if this is a little rough, but, uh, well, hey, I mean, we're getting through it, I guess, one way or another. At least so far. We seem to be able to have enough enough damage mitigation where we're just not getting one shot by everything, so so we got some survivability here. Abilene just tanking it up. Well, now what you got? Oh, now you can just come in here with us, huh? All right. Well, maybe you didn't want to do that, buddy. Got something for you. Hey, suck on that. Oh wow. Oh, he, okay. Now he's now he's got Kona cold. And, uh, what is that going to be? Crushing Prison, maybe? Lightning AoE. Oh, wow. Oh, he's got Static Cage. Oh, they just introduced Static Cage there. That's what that is. I'm 99% I'm sure. That's very cool. It'd probably paralyze you if you get stuck in that, which I don't want to do, obviously. So I think I'll just move around a little bit. But, yeah, he's doing Cone of Cold. Um, static Cage. Um, very cool. All right, so this is just a little bit of a foreshadowing of things to come. Yeah. I don't want to get one shot at now. No, they're not taking anything, any ridiculous amount of damage. Yeah, I didn't see getting paralyzed either. Took some damage, but not, not anything big. We're on nightmare, so it's it's doable. This is definitely doable. Nothing really drastic over the top, but he's got a large array of moves. Oh wow, his uh his cone of cold stretches out too. Did you see that? He kept going in waves. Oh crap. Yeah, I can't even this dude's got a lot of health. I mean like a lot of health. He might be I think this is this is harder than he is at the end of Inquisition. In fact, I know it is. This is twice as hard and ten times more interesting. Inquisition, that was the weakest boss fight I've ever seen in my life. Literally. Endgame boss? That's, that didn't make sense. I mean, I, I think it was made that way on purpose. I can't believe they were just that lazy that they weren't trying to make a statement with making him overly weak at the end. 
It was it was almost impossible not to outlevel him, and even if you didn't, he was still just weak. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. No questioning, he's he's down for the count. Makes you wonder whose body he possesses to get out of here, though. To carry on. We did leave a few wardens around. I don't see them now. It doesn't mean their bodies aren't still technically here. Or maybe it was Lorias. You know, Lorias says he's dead, but he just hasn't died yet, so to speak. And now that Corypheus' influence is off of him, we've set him free, so to speak. Does that mean he's allowed to go die on his own now? You did well, Hawk. More than the Grey Wardens of old were able to accomplish. I will tell the Warden Commander of your service here. You've gained an ally today. Why are you talking like that? My head is clear now. Without Corypheus' call, I can think again. I thank you for my freedom. And here I thought I'd just gained a headache. I will never forget what you did here. The prison stands no more. My gratitude you have for my freedom. I said you wouldn't believe me. When the Seekers arrived at the structure, this prison, it was destroyed. The Grey Wardens were there, but they did not mention this, Lorias. They claimed everyone was dead. And now you claim the champion was not only there, but defeated a Magister. One of the Magisters of old. Left there by the Wardens themselves. A curious tale. I wonder if there's more to it. A small matter. The one lasting treasure to emerge from this? A moment together for the family, in happier times. It's amazing how the past haunts us. All this hardship, because of what happened so many years ago. Did Father think it was worth it? He certainly knew it was too shameful to mention. He was wise not to share it with Mother, or any non-mage. It gets harder every year to remember what Father was like. I thought he knew everything. You know, as much as he had to spend time training me, he was so proud of you and Carver, his scoundrel and his soldier. He'd still be proud, even after all this. He did what he had to, just like all of us. And I owe him so much, both him and Mother. I wish... Well... Perhaps it doesn't matter. Thank you for taking care of everything, sister. Mm, she's got to go. That sucks. You are not so different. Not beneath. I see so much of Malcolm in you both. Apparently, even in my dotage, I know him better now than I did at the time. He kept so many secrets. I may have been willfully blind. How did you even meet? A Ferelden apostate and Kirkwall elite? Mages were sometimes called to perform at the Viscount's functions. Malcolm was not what I pictured. Such a wit. Never had a straight answer for anything. But so alive. Very like you. But it was so long ago. We have a new life. And we must think of tomorrow. Malcolm gave us that. It's hard to think of how much we've lost. Sometimes. But look at what you've done for us. Malcolm gave us the chance and you're the one who brought us where we are. We all know that, even if we sometimes linger in a moment that is better forgotten. 
I've done enough of that. We are blessed and should live as such, as much as we can choose to. Yeah, coming to find his wife, also after a time, let the wardens get a hint of his being a powerful mage and basically hold uh, mom ransom, her life ransom, and the life of her unborn child. Uh, so he could do that blood magic stuff. Uh, what a shame. All right, want to subscribe? Click that button up top. Until later, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.